The North Sydney Council has unanimously voted against an Aboriginal land claim in a closed meeting overnight. The claim from Laurie Plunklet Reserve on Barramoral Beach was made by Sydney's Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council. It's a 4,000 square metre reserve and it's used by people on a daily basis. The claim is from 2009 but has now entered the assessment phase. Joining me now is Mossman Councillor, Deputy Mayor Ron Roy Bendel. Roy, thanks so much for your time. I mean, thank, why were you voting thank on you this? Thank you for having me, Laura. Thank you, Roy. Why was this voted on anyway? Do councils really get to decide these things? Well, Apparently not. Um, these, these matters are assessed by Crown lands. Um, as you quite rightly said, the, we found out just recently that there was a, a claim lodged in 2009. Now, we didn't become aware of it till we were asked by Crown lands to put in a reason why these matters shouldn't be granted. Um, I, I personally find the whole thing quite astounding that uh, the land that the local governments and people controlling crown lands or managing crown lands aren't informed when these claims are originally lodged but it gets even more dangerous uh, the, the, this act according to um, the metropolitan land council this morning on another station there's 3,000 claims in the metro area of crown lands mm. now where, where are all most of the crown lands along the coastline opposite the beaches of our parks and reserves now, it's what happens with the process now is that we lodge our... We, we, council voted last night to, to put their objections in into this claim because we've been maintaining this land for, you know, 100 years. We've got bush care groups who, who volunteer. In fact, they were up there speaking last night saying, you know, how can this land be claimed? It's not supposed to be claimable if it's an active part of... Of, mm. of, of our area. But, but my point is, it's not really up to a council to decide you know, yes or no, is it? Isn't this like under the national... No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is purely assessed by... It's transactional. It's, it's assessed by the Minister uh, of, of Crown Lands. Yeah, so right. We so that's why I'm getting... Why, why was it even part of a council meeting then? Well, because we have to vote for expenditure items to in order to hire our, our legal team in order to process this claim. I mean, in order for us to put in a defence of, of the claim. And dragging back, um, you know, for, from 2009 and, and proving a, a negative, which is, a, you know, is actually, we, you know, that's why it came before us. Originally, it was, we were asked to keep it confidential. But, yeah. but you can't keep these matters confidential because, I mean, you're affecting millions of people who use utilise the beach and the neighbours, sure. and, and not and just and our expenditure alone on maintaining that site the last hundred years. You know, it, it should come to council, and this should be in the public domain. Well, but we talk about the thousands of, of claims, and you say this one dates back to two thousand nine. Doesn't that just show that the process is working? And are these all these issues coming out now to? to be highlighted at the same time we're about to have a referendum on The Voice. It would seem that these issues are being raised by uh, proponents of the no. Well, no, no. We were only notified a month ago. I mean, and we, and we, we tried to keep The Voice debate out of this because for, you know, but the timing is, is quite amazing. We, we were only notified a month ago that we had a month to put in the submission. So we voted to put in the submission and 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 spend the money to do that. Um, uh, uh, if other people want to grab hold of this uh, uh, as indicative of what may happen in the future, that's up to them. But that's not our concern. Mm. Our concern is is defending this public land on behalf of of our residents. I mean, if this claim is successful, this land gets hand, handed over the Metropolitan Land Council as freehold title as, as it. A, uh, abuts a residential area, it's not a leap to uh, to then figure out what will happen, that there'll be a, an application for a zoning change. Yeah, right. doesn't so sound like that's the, close The to timing happen. of it had nothing it's to do with us. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. sound like it's close to happen. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, Roy. Thanks so much for your time this morning.